going to go, uh, and it's about the um, new moon in Aries, okay? Okay, um, there's a lot of message out already about the new moon in Aries, but I am sure that most people do not understand what this exists and what what is going to basically happen. Um, because every time there is a new moon in a sign, there is just... A blowing mind of things that it's going to be transparent and things that it's going to basically be happening in people's life and people are not aware of this okay so um, what I'm basically going to do is do it from the spiritual aspect to let people understand what this new moon I'm trying to get a light <laughs> what this um, new moon in Aries is going to do and the changes that is going to be coming in in um, people's life okay um okay i kind of get dull up for this because it's 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 it's, it's gonna be very <coughs> sorry very interesting <coughs> sorry very interesting the times are changing um there's so many things that is happening especially for the earth sign people this is going to be an erosion it's going to be um just I sort of um, a lot of things is clearing out your life is basically clearing out things are basically it's going to be suddenly leaving your life okay and so you um, earth sign people have to have to really understand what is transpiring in your life okay so if you have been going through a lot of struggles and that sort of a thing it's going to gradually leave your life okay this is what is is really happening because the Harry's moon it is a transformation and a huge transformation because if we do understand how the astrological aspect of our lives is and whenever there is Aries in your sign thank God I don't have that right um, in my birth chart um, it's, it's it's like crazy okay and I advise a lot of people to go and find out what is in their birth chart because um, there is your birth chart is so interesting just like your name is interesting because whoever you are is in the secret of your name okay your divine life part what is your soul purpose is these are things that are going to be coming up and happening for a lot of people with this changing of um, the new moon in Aries so um, I will say to a lot of people especially um, the earth sign people, the air sign people, hold on because your life is about to change in ways that you weren't really expecting. The water sign people are going to be feeling this too. You're just going to be feeling as if you just want to scream, you just want to go out, you just want to blaze out, you just want to do things differently. Um, some of you water sign people need to be aware that maybe you're going to go in the form of sexual the sexual revolution because the sexual revolution is at a still point but it is coming up so a lot of people are going to be experimenting and going out there a lot of people who are married is going to be feeling as if they're trapped in their marriage and they need to get out because it's as if they're meeting people and they're connecting with people on a totally different level than what they have connected with their marriages so earth sign and so water sign people you are going to be feeling this okay I am gonna go back and do the earth, the elements um, reading again because I used to do it but I didn't have any time I don't know if I'm gonna find the time because it's so busy but there is so many information that needs to get out and this is a time from now until 2020 where a lot of information is going to get out okay um there are many 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 subjects i'm going to touch on on this video so this video is going to be um quite long um okay one there's a lot of people a lot of people um seems to be asking me to do videos over astra travel okay astra travel is um basically and um seriously astra tra travel is basically um during your dream time okay so during your dream time because because of the changes in the frequency that is happening on earth a lot of people energy vibration is being changed at the moment okay so um like i'm seeing this in readings it's as if 
um, some people wants to have a fast reading or they want to connect with me and it's just as if the time isn't there and it's as if a lot of things come through and then they finally connect with me and then there is just so many things that is coming up it's because sometimes um, your guides and angels are not available to give uh, the reading because I do energy vibration reading and um, it, it's it's been directed through your guides and angels okay so um, that's how I can basically connect with you okay because I'm um, I, 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 I can't say um, I channel basically because most of everything that I do is basically a channel I channel my book I channel information and um, now what I'm seeing is that I've been pushed to do these extra videos and I really don't want to do extra videos so I'm kind of collecting the information to do another book at this moment but um, the most important thing that a lot of people have been um, connecting with me and you know they're saying that I'm feeling as if I'm meeting someone in my dreams now this is possible okay um, um, us to travel for the fourth and fifth dimension we all know because um, I've been living in the fourth dimension I think all my life um, I, I go to the third dimension when I have to deal with third, di third dimensional people which is people who have ego base then I will go there um, but for most of my lifetime because I real I've, I finally realized that I've been living in a total bubble than uh, other people because I'm I'm, I'm, I've been experiencing something and I'm realizing that I thought all the world or people in the world um, was at the same level of uh, frequency but I'm realizing that a lot of people have not left or is still vibrating in a third dimensional frequency so at some point I have to go to that level to vibrate at this moment it is a time where a lot of people are taking back their energies and being with themselves because they are realizing that they're feeling different um, about who they are basically and um, we tend to um, um, take um, take a step back and let life flow and um, connect on a high energy vibration a lot of you will feel as if um, you or you're urged to change your career a lot of you are going to be feeling as if you're urged to change your career because you're not feeling at beat and um, at the same point but this is what I've been advising a lot of people is that there is a possibility for you to um, keep your three-dimensional career and then um, begin your um, your fourth dimensional career okay so that is what you're going to bring out over the next 10 20 years okay um, what is happening um, worldwide is that a lot of people were brought up that you have only one career or you have only one thing that you do or only one incomes and people now have to start to realize that um, you can't survive on one incomes you have to have like multiple incomes um, to survive because the planet and the frequency is changing the hurt frequency is changing so the earth frequency is basically um, helping you because a lot of people are like yeah I had this job like for 15 20 years and all of a sudden yes because um, when you work in an organization for 15 20 years and that sort of a thing is that there are people in an organization that you need to clear karmic karmatic situations with them that's basically why um, you have connected with a group of people okay so um, this is what is transpiring that a lot of people um, a strong point um, 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 what they have known all their life is absolutely collapsing um, it's absolutely um, absolutely changing is there as a shift of conscious but a shift of energy and it's the shift and the frequency of the hurt why this is taking place at this time um, life tends to change in a lot of way for a lot of people a lot of people are feeling as if they are not they don't belong um, um, certain places where they are or they don't belong in a career or they don't belong in um, a place 
where they are that sort of a thing and this is because of that your frequency is changing because the energy of the hurt frequency is changing there's a lot of people who are beginning to be aware and awaken um, and this is going to be constantly 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 happening so um, it's nothing to be um, um, surprised about it's it's actually that um, as the planet changes because um, this planet and this dimension that we're living in because um, what I should explain to a lot of people is that there are different dimensions okay so let's give you an information of how the dimensional system whenever you're walking outside um, there are different dimensions it's as if they are into a time okay dimensions are into time so um, you think that this is the only earth but there are different dimensions of this hurt okay and this is what people were saying um, and they were trying to figure it out if because um, the earth is going to copy itself and the people who have gone to the fourth and fifth dimension who accept the Christ light um, it's going to go to another hurt and the rest is going to be left behind here okay um, and the thing about it is that we can all with our consciousness and understanding we can basically all transform from this dimension to the positive dimension which is that we're going to start over to understand who we are and we're going to shift our consciousness in a positive way so that we can understand and connect um, with others in a different form okay a lot of people are going to be realizing that um, they are capable of having their their gifts are awakening where they're capable of um, having connection in different different ways and different gifts that they weren't aware that they have these are going to be starting to happening um, in the next 10 years there is going to be a lot of um, um, connection with intergalactic beams because not all of us is from this planet and um, your soul family because they're basically your soul family are coming in via dream times um, to connect with you and to download information there's um, certain different um, planetary aspects such as Ceres the Orion um, Palladians um, uh, um, the white brotherhood and that the white brotherhood is basically for the people who are here for the last time on this planet which I'm one of them I'm here for the last time on this planet and um, so we work with the ascendance masters and we work with the t the, the 12 um, the white brotherhood so what 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 happens and what transpire is that most of the time we um, in our dream time or vibrating in the fourth and fifth dimension because we need to bring back that energy um, in the awakened time so let's say um, 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 this is why a lot of people ask me to do this video um, to explain what is happening um, when you when you sleep when you go to bed and sleep what basically happens is that your soul actually journey to different places or different people it is as if people says oh you know I saw you in my dream last night yes because you connect with that person for whatever um, reason and uh, um, um, you can only connect with that person if that person's guiding angels give you the yes to do that okay because not everyone um, it is something where you have to ask, okay? Because I basically, oh, 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 well, um, you have to ask, okay? Because you're you're protected by your guiding angels, and um, there there are laws and regulation not only on this planet but also um, in the universal laws. Is that we cannot override some of the laws of the universal law, which is respecting another person, okay? A lot of people are going to be connecting with people who you felt of it, you have known for years. And it's as if um, a lot of people are calling up on their soul families to come in because some people are not feeling, uh, some people are beginning to see that their hurt family, which the family you were born on in this earth, is that you're not connected with them. Okay. You're, you feel disconnected with them, which you're, 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 you're 
you're kind of feeling as if am I um, how do I connect with these people that sort of a thing okay so this this is something that is going to be happening to a lot of people and other people are not saying it because they are afraid of how it's going to come out and how people are going to think about them um, there are in, um, a lot of things that are happening because a lot of people think um, seems to be understanding what is energy and how does energy work and um, they are you know going to different things different every everyone seems to be um, looking up information to find out what exactly is transpiring and the only um, thing that you need to really know is that you need to heal yourself okay whatever emotional pain that you have had your entire life about whatever reason whatever factor of your your life you need to release that and as you release these emotional pain what is going to happen is that your mighty I am self is going to be helping you to heal yourself on the aspect that you're letting go of whatever um, um, problems, situations, whatever that has affected you your entire life, you're letting go of that and you're taking the chance to move on and let go and understand that certain situations, certain um, things happen in your life because there are certain lessons that we come on this planet um, to learn, okay? What is going to transpire is that people are going to be starting to a, a shift of consciousness where they're going to be feeling this doesn't resonate with me anymore. Okay, so that is when um, it comes up as if your career doesn't resonate with you. You don't resonate with your family anymore. It's as if certain things in your life is just not making any sense anymore. And a lot of people have been going through this and it's nothing to be surprised about. What is happening is that the shift of consciousness um, you're going through a shift of consciousness as to travel is um, it's one of the things that is going to be happening um, and a lot of people seems to be having that because they some people are waking up very tired because they have gone to places they have done things they've seen things and they can't remember but they're becoming aware that you know I it's as if I'm so tired and I just wake up this is because you are you know traveling in your dreams um situations is that people can resolve certain things um in the astro travel and the dream time some people ask to travel to go to um, series because series is the planet um and some people ask to travel to go to the crystal pyramids for healing and this is very good because if you're trying to heal yourself in the waking time and you're unable to do that, you can ask to go to the crystal pyramid healing and this healing will actually um, happen. This year is going to be a year of changes. A lot of changes is happening on this planet. I have been um, talking to people, um, especially in last year, and they begin to see two moon and stars two suns now if you're seeing two moons and two suns that means that you're into intertwine in different dimension okay um, because what is happening is that you're seeing the Sun and the moon on this uh, on this planet and you're in a not a total dimension that you're seeing the Sun and the moon so this these things are have been happening to a lot of people and that means you are vibrating in a fourth dimension um, and, and and the fifth dimension okay because um, I am realizing that a lot of people seems to be awakening and they're consciously awakened. Um, there is so many things to say and one uh, and another point is karma, okay? There is so many situations that is happening and I can touch and give you example of, uh, of some people. Um, Wendy Williams, there has been just this huge thing about Wendy Williams the last time. Personally, I've, I have, you know, I, as a woman to another woman, I really like her. I watch her stuff and I have also been seeing the changes and the shift and, um, people can be ruthless and people can be good. And this is, this is it. This is when judge judgment when people are judging other people we can't judge someone else if we don't know what they are going through okay um, you're not the judge of someone else you need to judge yourself first before you're going to judge someone else so basically I don't judge people I think whatever you know um, 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 
circumstances make you who you are okay and then everybody was going about her husband and this and this and that I'm sure the lady know exactly what is going on in her relationship and and that sort of a situation who are we to be judging and telling her what to do because she has chosen this life so that she can go through um, this lesson okay she's going through a lesson she's basically um, going through a lesson in her life so you know um, people are giving out all of these things before you can um, judge someone you have to be in their shoes to judge them okay and um, we can't say she should divorce or we can't say this and we can't say that because they're both they have both chosen to be together to go through this lesson whatever lesson that they're going through she has to learn the lesson he has to learn the lesson the other person has to learn the lesson so basically um I just sit back and I look at it I watch her I, I you know I from one colored person to another colored person I think she's amazing I think she's funny whatever it is let it go people because she is there and we are judging her but we're not in her shoes okay so um, we should you know actually have um sincerity to her because um she has gone through a lot and um we need to have understanding as one person to another um going on to um this new girl and the prince of england okay all right okay all right ladies 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 I don't believe in this okay it's the wrong person um, she is not capable to even stand in Princess Diana's shoes okay this girl is someone who should be in show business and show business should be where she stays we need to need we need to know um, and this is not I'm not judging her but um, it's not going to work out this is a charade that I think that she should basically look at herself and understand there is no way you can never be um, I'm coming from you know if it was an English girl it would be different because um, English grow up different than Americans okay it is a totally totally different um, social um, uh, situation okay and uh, honestly I think um, if she is being honest to herself and understand what Harry has gone through I think she would be honest not to go through this because it's not gonna last okay and I wish them the best and I honestly Number one, she was not di diplomatical enough to speak about our presidents because I think if you are in a position and you're about to become the princess of England, the princess of Wales, then you need to understand that certain things that you say about the president of the United States of America, you need to be, uh, be more... Um, professional and I think he should be invited to the wedding despite that what she thinks and this is how you see that some people are not very diplomatic and some people do not know how they should deal with certain aspect okay because he's one he's the president of, of, of the most powerful country in the world and despite what you might think about him um, which she had no reason um, to give out um, you know certain things so um, I love Kate Middleton because she is Diana itself she is so princessy and she's Diana itself and she carries herself with style okay she really really carries herself with style next person I'm going to look at and I'm sorry for the people who doesn't want to hear this but my heart goes out to Chloe and I'm wishing on the Kardashians um, you know a lot of blessings and um, uh, 
and and especially Chloe because I have a really special love for Chloe. I have been watching them ever since the beginning. And even when I was living in Europe, I'm watching it on YouTube until it came to e-television in Europe and I was watching them. And I have um, great respect from the heart of a feminine aspect and the feminine point of view. They made social media what it is. And despite what we may all think about these girls and their mothers, I can say that they have made an empire for themselves. And that is the power of femininity coming in and when you know people can get up I mean all that they have done the spy how they might done it I really don't care because I think that um, Kim is such a beautiful woman and I mean whatever people say um, it's you know it's up to you but I have a certain sort of admiration for these women because they made social media what it is Chloe has been my special for a very, very long time. And to see what Chloe is going through now, you know, this is when I am like, I heard the news the other night and I wanted to go tweet about it. And I thought I will do it in this message. And these are the things that it's going to be keep on it keeping up then because Number one, it's 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 um it's um karma because she went with him when his girlfriend was five months, and now this happened. And this is what a lot of women do not know about men. Once a cheater will always be a cheater. Okay, some men do change because some men really do meet that woman of that woman who you know they feel so um, connected to, but. This guy is just really come on. This this woman is pregnant. I mean, if even you're doing something like this, you have enough money to do it indiscreet for God's sake. I mean, I don't understand you, man. What's wrong with you? Look at Chloe for God's sake. Wait until the lady has some respect. What she has been going through, if you have seen, she has been going through so many things to bring this baby into this world. And you have absolutely no respect that you could just wait a minute until the lady has her baby. My God, I am hoping and I'm hoping that she does have post-dramatic distress because these things and, and, and people do not understand a lot of things. Okay. This can bring her in post-dramatic distress, okay? This is something that this woman won't be able to have connection with her baby. And I'm really praying for her that she comes through this. And Chloe, kick him to the curb. Girlfriend, you are so beautiful. You're so special. You're one of the most special um, I like all the girls, but Chloe has this vibrant thing. She went out and she's helping fat people, people who are going through struggles and she is helping them. She's like one of my special person, um, in the Kardashian. Okay. And I think this is very, very, very disrespectful. And I can remember <laughs> growing up as a kid, I always wanted to be with a basketball player. Hell no. I'm glad I have been out that hero because, uh, Oh my God, this is bad. Chloe, I'm wishing you um, a lot of happiness and joy. You have the love of your life. You have something, a gift that was given to you. And I'm wishing you all the best um, with your baby. Okay. Okay. Now, this is a sort of a thing that is going to happen, people. So we need to understand what is karma. That is karma coming back in. Because I'm, I've been saying this to a lot of people in my readings. Be careful what for karma you give out because it's going to come back. And I don't think um, it was very nice of uh, um, Black China that she says what she says about Chloe. It's okay. Sometimes we need to um, not say things about people because 
you know um, you know this 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 thing that is going on it is a karmatic situation you have all know each other from lifetimes and lifetimes before and you people have come back and you are like being the media's uh, um dolls at this time on this planet and um despite whatever that has happened um you have to understand that a family that loves each other stick together and stay together and we need to understand that okay so you are given this you know inappropriate outcomes of whatever you're saying and basically i think we need to think about what we say in and the public and, and in the media because it is very important how it carries across and um, do not hit a dog when it's down okay because basically she, she is a very nice person she didn't ask for this she has always been trying to be nice and kind to you you have to understand when you marry in a family there are certain situations uh, um, that is uh, um, that people expect and that sort of a thing okay so that wasn't so nice but it's okay um, forgiveness should be um, you know we all need to forgive each other so these are just little subjects that I'm, 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 I'm basically touching on um, these are just little subject and I know a lot of people are wondering <laughs> if I'm not gonna be touching on uh, the housewife of, of Atlanta which is another of my favorite things because it's amazing to see has as colored women out there and you know TV has gone a long way from good times and uh, um, uh, Stanford and Sun and the Jeffersons and all of this and you know something being a colored person and um, being someone who um, I respect each and every person and I think that these women, I, I guess, you know, despite and how you look at it, basically, I really can um, um, see and connect with these women. And um, uh, Nini, kudos to you, Nini, because you are one of those people who say it as it is. And <laughs> I could, I could, I can best relate with you. And despite, I think that you make this series. A hit because when you weren't there it was it, it, it was so sad but this is what I'm trying what I'm trying to say to a lot of people is that um, these all these things are happening all these situations all these um, media things are happening at this moment because um, the vibrational shift on the planet is taking place and it doesn't really matter that you are um, totally spiritual totally going to church and that sort of a thing that that is not what it's all about it's about the respect you respecting who you are you respecting another person and you are trying to open up yourself for unconditional love because that's this is what it's all about unconditional love okay having a child is unconditional love that means that child you will give up your life for that child so that it's you know people need to understand where we are at this moment on this planet so a lot of these things are going to be happening and we need to be aware and karma 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 people you need to understand what is karma because if you do because the karma thing is coming back because if you look at um, the time that Chloe begin with this guy and how this happened count the 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 months uh, you know how the karma is going it's going very quickly because you know when we were young and 40 um years ago and that sort of a thing it was you know it was when you were as an adult that these karmas are coming back but whatever we give out um this is what and this is why we need to understand what is karma karma is um what whatever we give out that is what we're going to receive if we give out positive energy if we send love and light to chloe she is going to feel that positive energy come in her, her and that is going to help her to get through these things if we send love and light to wendy 
that is exactly what is going to be happening because Wendy is going to be feeling better and she's going to be coming out and whatever the situation is in your personal life this is what you need to do is change your thoughts it's all about changing the way you think if you're going to send negative energy out for someone expect that that is going to be coming back at you and it's going to come back like 10 times the fall if you send good positive energy out for someone and with someone something it's going to be um coming back in such a positive way and this is it um this is something that i um in this week that i um i've, I've from one of my subscribers someone did something such so beautiful and it was a video that i sent out last year and she has done something so beautiful i have a surprise for you because i'm gonna surprise you and um this is so wonderful and um this is where I realized that there are so many wonderful people in this world. And this is why if even I'm tired, I'm still doing these readings because they're, they're free and I'm still doing these readings for people because people need to understand that there now there is a transition, the consciousness, the awakening of consciousness, the um, removing the veil of what we thought things were and really seeing exactly what is happening. Okay. Because the planet, the, the, the everything shift, a shift of awakeness is um, upon us and on this planet. And this um, moon in um, Aries, I'm not going to be one of those people who's going to be happy for it because I'm having Scorp uh, 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 Saturn going through my planet at this time. And for the people who have Saturn going through the planet as this time and the, the, you know the people who are working with Saturn it's it's gonna be erotic for you it's gonna be um, really a shift and you're gonna be feeling the shift as things um, move on and things happen in your life um, be aware of your thoughts this is what I'm saying to a lot of people you need to change the way of your thoughts you need to be the Buddha, okay? Um, honestly, you need to be the Buddha because to survive the changes that are, are, are about to come, the shift of um, consciousness, the shift that is happening in your life at this moment, the shift that is happening with your kids, the whole shift of things which are changing because life is not the same because uh, the vibration of this planet has been changing and by the thoughts pattern of who we are and the thoughts that we send out to the universe this is what is changing the shift of consciousness okay so we need to understand that we ourselves have um, we have to be aware of what we do okay we have to be aware of of the things we do the things we say how we do things how we say things um, how we attract people to us and that sort of a thing if you um, realize that you have been just attracting a lot of low energy people this is because you um, you have to um, clear their energies okay and some people will say oh my god um, you know but this is your life purpose this is what you have chosen to come in and do and if you have a 33 6 life purpose a lot of you will be realizing that you are attracting the most lower energy people uh, really at this time because you are helping them to basically clear their karmas okay so um, light workers come in um, you did not um, recoronate okay because there is a difference that I have to un uh, help people to understand there are the earthlings there are the intergalactic beams and there are the multi-dimensional beams okay the multi-dimensional beams are star seeds okay and star seeds are people who came um, or soul let's break it down souls who came for and from a different um, universe to come here to teach about love to open up the energy vibration on this planet to a positive energies okay so if you all think and if um, you all think that we're all humans we um, carry the um, 
the, the body and the human body of a human, but basically, especially the star seeds or the people who um, felt um, um, not connected to this planet because you're not of this planet. You're not of this universe, okay? Multidimensional beings or star seed who came to this planet, who were acts and who volunteer to come to this planet to help the shift the conscious shift of awareness to help earthlings and humanity to shift on this planet to a positive energy. Um, so this is what a whole lot of people do not understand. You have chosen to born under a certain zodiac sign because there are certain situations and lessons that you were meant to, um, um, to learn. Okay. And what I'm seeing basically is that I'm 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 being connecting with a lot of people who have two energies vibration. That means you carry um, a fire energy and an earth energy, um, or you carry a water energy and a hair energy. Okay, I'm connecting with these people because these are the cups people. These are actually the most. Um, um, uh, apart from the 13th planet, because um, the obsolete people, the people who were born November 29 till December 17, you are the healers, okay? You came in with a gift to heal people, okay? So um, apart from these people who are very special, very different, you have the people who carry two energies, because the obsolete, they carry four all four energies and there are some people and some light workers who carries two energies um as i've always said to a lot of people because sometimes people will come and they will you know leave messages and i always say um to a lot of people there are different different types of readers on youtube and why is that it's just as if you have different denomination different congregation different um um and, and churches this is what the readers on youtube are and if you notice um i've always said to people who even ask me should i start reading because i always feel drawn to it and i said yes go ahead and do it but find your own way of doing it because if you're going to copy somebody else's way of doing it you're not bringing out the essential the consciousness the essential that your guides and angels want to send out um do all people have guides yes do all people um connect with different different sort of guides and angels yes they do okay um, the multi-dimension people, the star seed people, they connect on a higher energy vibration. They connect from an, um, a nine-dimensional um, um, connection, okay? Because um, they are not of this planet. They are higher in, in, in evolution. They are higher in evolution. And this is why some people um, uh, cannot connect with everyone on this planet because you feel as if you're not sure what you should say because sometimes you say things that comes out and people take it very um uh, people are being hurt um or people think oh you're weird or that sort of a thing is because some um multi-dimension um beings are having problems at this time communicating because whenever they communicate people tend to take uh, it in a bad way or people do not understand what they're saying and that sort of a thing and I've had that like my entire life so I spend most of my life either being very quiet or listening to conversation but sometimes you say things that comes out like I will say things that comes out like so weird and people take it um, wrongly and then I'm thinking oh my god but I didn't mean to say it like that and I have met someone and um, um, and, and, and he basically said, you know, you're like the carbon copy of I am, which is always um, a soulmate sort of a thing. Or um, this person is um, um, someone of a soul family or you have had this situation. So a lot of people are meeting people who you feel, oh, my God, that is 
that is really the opposite of me. I've never, this is kind of freaky, you know, <laughs> and, and you can feel freaked out because it's as if the person knows everything about you. And, um, it, it, there is nothing to worry about because I, 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 I've had this, um, where I, I, I met this person. I was like, Oh my God, you're stalking me. And, um, and, and, and then we, we started like talking and then we realized that we had so much in common. And then I had, so I had situation like, Hmm. Um, so I, I one day I said, are, are you, did you study me? So you, you were aware of so many things and we were candidly talking. And then we realized that we're actually the opposite Palladia the opposite polity of each other, which is, um, so it can freak you out that you meet someone and you're thinking this person freaks me out because this person knows a lot about me and this person know how to connect with me. And, um, it can be very freaky, but you don't need to be freaky about this. This is just, it could be okay. All right. Let me, let me, <laughs> let me open up a door of Pandora. Okay. Okay. Each and every person, um, you're, once you have a soul, um, each and every person, think of the universe, the, um, the, the exhaustion of the universe where there is the big bomb, because people talk about the big, the big bomb. Then it's as if the star is as if a big bomb and then there's pieces of star. If you look in the sky, the night sky, the night sky there are thousands of stars and, and in the old um world people used to say um it is a soul that has passed on that makes so many stars and if you think about it in that way each and every one of us her souls when there is like an explosion there is um 13 different some some people has nine and some people have 13 so you have different counterparts and you're like, Hmm, this is freaky. Yes, it is freaky, but it is, um, um, it is the evaluation of what happens. So, um, sometimes you meet people who are so connected, you're so connected to, to them because you're a soul family or because you have known them in lifetime before. And sometimes you meet people and you're like, Oh my God, it's as if I've known you before. And this is, is, is so because, um, you have decided to, to, to come in contact with these people at this time because each and every one of us write our own scripts and you're thinking, write our own. Yes, you play your own movie and you ask people to play a part of your movie. So sometimes you will, um, connect with people. Sometimes they will stay in your life for a long time. Sometimes they won't stay because of the contract that you have, uh, um, actually, um, made with this. Another thing that, that, um, a lot of people tend to be asking me, <laughs> tend to be asking me as, um, the subject of, uh, um, marriage. Why am I not married and why? Um, okay. Marriage. Okay. This is something that a lot of people should know about marriage. Marriage is a sacred thing. Um, a lot of people do not understand how sacred marriage is, but marriage is a sacred thing. If you have chose to chose someone to be your partner in marriage, it is very sacred because what happened is that you are taking on the energy vibration of that person and their family bloodline to be cleansed. Okay. So, um, you will see that sometimes a marriage just come to an end like that. It's because you have clear whatever um, energy vibration or clear whatever lessons, um, whatever karmatic lessons that need to be clear. You will find out that a lot of people marry a thousand times or three times or four times. It's because they have to connect with these people. And this is how they decide that they need to, to clear their karmatic lessons. Okay. Ever since I was a child, I was not one of those person who deeply, um, believe in marriage because I basically don't think that people, um, have, um, the potential to love one person for a lifetime. Okay. And because of that, this planet is a planet of free will. 
um, you will realize that a lot of people are married and then they meet someone else and they feel so connected to that person and they end their marriage and they start with this person. So it is kind of the way I look at it is as if marriage um, on this planet is that people expect you to be married. I remember when I was like 28, 27, 28, my family is always saying, when are you going to get married? What's wrong with you? Why don't you want? But it's a cultural thing because they expect me to be married at that age because of how I look and that sort of a thing. But no one ever asks me and question why and what's the reason why, except that I explained to my mom and which I am grateful for my mom and my grandmother who understand basically who I am and the point that I was coming. This, this is a very strong point in my life. So she has never been remarried and that sort of a thing. And um, most of the women in my family basically got married at a very, very old age, you know, really old. But um, so whatever it is, it's, it's just that I don't think that you can love one person entirely because I think, and this is it, I've had the stranger that I call a stalker that I have, you know, we have these deep conversation and I remember um, we had this conversation about loving two people at the same time. And it does exist. A lot of people can love two people for their entire life. They can be married to one person, but yet still love another person and have this dual um, relationship. And some people do come in on this planet to have these dual relationships because they need to work out some, um, some sort of a karmatic lesson and that sort of a thing. So um, um, marriage is, is, is one of those things that um, I think is very sacred. I am, have so much respect for him and we're, we're you know, we're best friends. So um, basically, um, I think that marriage is so um, sacred, but is it, uh, because as a child, I, I was one of those kids that always dream of getting married. No, I always dreamed to be a businesswoman and drive a nice car like my mom. <laughs> so, um, I, I, I don't know. It's just that I know that, um, you can't, you can't give up yourself to another person because I think that marriage, a lot of people tend to give up them themselves to another person. I think marriage is something that you have respect for each other. You give each other space. Okay. I think a relationship that each of you support each other and connect with each other on a high level. And I think that no matter what it is, um, you should be able to discuss the situation without um, the other person abusing you for whatever reason and that sort of a thing. And, um, not a lot of people are at that conscious level that you can love someone for a lifetime, no matter whatever is going through, no matter what it is, the quarrels or whatever, but you can't go to bed and not saying, you know, I'm sorry or whatever it is, or I swallow your pride to say, I'm sorry, because you never know what happened because, um, you know, if you die in the middle of the night, what will happen? Basically what will happen is that you had a quarrel with someone and that is the love of your life or whoever. And you never could say, I'm sorry, but yes, you can still say, I'm sorry. Okay. So, um, marriage is something that is so sacred. And, um, at this time, I think if you're not married at a certain age, why are you going to do it? I think I honestly believe if you're not married at 45, why would you want to um, get married? But it's up to each and every person because each and every person comes in um, to walk their um, a journey and, 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 and to connect in ways um, that is, um, and, and to connect in ways where, um, um, you have to learn lessons. So I, I, I knew from a young age that, um, I, 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 I can't make a lot of karmas on this planet. Okay. Cause I know I won't be coming back. So 
I knew that I can't come in and exist in um, having all of these connections and, and because I would have to come back and clear that karma. And I knew, somehow I knew before I even started studying um, myself and spirituality, I knew that I was not meant to come back here because I, I've never felt um, very at home on this planet because I think there is too much hate. I think people just get up and hate you and being jealous of you for no reason at all. And, 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 and it actually um, breaks the energy vibration of people. So I focus on helping others and I, I, I basically do not want... So, you know, marriage is, is, is very different for each and every person. Each and every person feel different about marriages. So, you know, that's basically my point of view on marriage. Yeah.